Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So once you put it up for the first time, you should see this screen right over here. So get started by simply tapping on an arrow and selecting your desired language. Now I'm gonna stick with the English one. So let's progress further. Then you can choose your lang uh, not language, but region as you can see. Uh, so find your region, select it, and then again, next step. Uh, choose keyboard. Uh, talk about real keyboard, apparently that's a thing here. Um, normally Gboard is if you're planning to type, uh, I mean, I guess that's the only option here. So let's just tap on next and terms and conditions. So obviously let's select that we have read them because there is no other way around it. Now, if you want to actually read them, you can tap on it. And once it loads, there you go. We can read all of this if you are, are interested in it. From there, let's go to the next page where we can insert a SIM card. Now this step is completely optional. You can insert that SIM card, SIM card right now or later on and it just won't change really anything. So I'm gonna skip it. Next, Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so you can connect Wi-Fi if you want to. If you don't, again, you can skip it if that is something that you want to do. Uh, by skipping it, you will lose the ability to log into your Google account and also date and time usually won't be set uh, correctly uh, and also won't be set automatically. So you will have to make sure that it's correct. Um, I'm not gonna bother connecting, so let's just skip it for now. Now, I'll also mention that if you skip it, but you want to later on connect to your uh, Google account or stuff like that, uh, you are totally free to do so. Uh, it just won't be provided in a neat sequence as it is right here. To the setup, you will have to go to the settings and from there connect to Wi-Fi and add Google account in the accounts section. So anyway, next page here, we have the Google services. So services like location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. You can tap on the arrows right here to expand it and read exactly what it does. Um, and if you don't like it, you can disable it or keep it on, depending on how you like it. And we have protect uh, section to protect our device. So we have the fingerprint and screen lock. If you plan to set up a fingerprint, you will be still required to select a pin, pattern, or password, depending on which one you choose. Uh, but honestly, I'm just gonna select screen lock only, and I'm gonna go with the pattern here. Now, for some reason, uh, it does give us a five second uh, countdown before we can actually uh, accept it and set up our pattern. Basically, it gives us a message that we need to remember it, like no da. Okay. Now that it's set, we can progress further. Uh, here we have some additional settings. So location, sending diagnostic data automatically, automatic system updates, personalized ads, and user experience programs. Uh, now, personally, honestly, uh, there's one thing that jumps right at me, which is this uh, abhorrent trash right here, personalized ads. I despise this option right here. Uh, it basically continuously looks on what you search on your device and gives you ads everywhere related to that. Uh, no, I, I do not want that. Uh, now you can disable the rest of those if you don't want it at all, uh, it's completely up to you. And from there we can go to the next page where it uh, allows us to choose uh, which kind of field we want. So we have the classic one, uh, I believe it should have been a little bit differently named but whatever. Uh, I would consider the uh, app drawer option to be classic for Android, uh, but apparently Xiaomi has a different idea of what's classic. Maybe it's for them classic. But yeah, if you want all your apps smack in the middle uh, of your home screen, kind of like the Apple does uh, or iPhones, uh, then classic is for you. But if you prefer to have things organized where your home screen doesn't look like a uh, desktop in a workplace, um, then probably App Drawer will be for you. Because once you install apps, instead of going to your home screen, they'll go to the App Drawer and keep your home screen neat and tidy. So let's go further. And it looks like that completes the setup. So click right over here and finish it up. Yeah, there we go, that took a little bit longer than I expected, but there we go, this is the home screen. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.